Hey guys and girls, welcome to your fourth example video, C++ action. So what are we going to do today? Well, we're going to talk about input-output manipulation, right? We've been doing a lot of input and output here. And it could be nice to know a few tips and tricks about how to manipulate the stream and how to make it look different and stuff like that and how to fill empty spaces and etc and etc. Cetera, et cetera. So what you want to start with is you want to comment out any other main function you have and you have a new clean main function here which will be our uh, which will be the only program we want to run. So after that what you want to do is you want to include IO manip, right? Input output manipulation and uh, all string as well as uh, IO stream of course. So we have our little books in our box and we're ready to build, right? So we're just gonna get started right away. So what we need is a string variable. So we're gonna have a string... Actually, you know what? We don't. We don't. This is gonna be a really short video. What we're gonna do is we're gonna write something. Say you wanna write x here and then say that you wanted a bunch of spaces or lines in between. Okay? And then you wanted to type in y here. For some reason. I mean just take x and y as anything, any general thing, like you may maybe you want uh, a bunch of like name, price, date, things like that, and then you want a lot of spaces in between, and then you want the actual values coming down. So uh, keep in mind that I'm just going to use some uh, weird, weird characters here. So what we're going to need, as well as that, is we're going to need to learn about something called a character. And characters are just like string, right? String name character a for example and we give it a character value an initial value and the name we can give it an empty string so I'm gonna explain everything here what well, the reason I chose name and char and as well as I'm just gonna do an int as well okay so I'm gonna explain the difference here right a string you see you use the quotation marks in a character you use a single thing here I don't know what this is called but you know what I mean and uh, the thing is the difference that a string is a collection of characters. So I have A, B, C, D, etc., 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 right? Any any type of character, spaces, whatever, will be stored in here, right? And a space is a character as well. I could do this, it's a character. This is an empty character. This is a, a and a, it could be a number as well. This number will not give you a, a value unless you convert it, right? There are ways to convert it. But in here, a 2 would be a 2. In here, a 2 would be the character 2. Okay, is the difference there? Here as well. There's numbers are just characters here. There aren't. They don't have a numeric value. Um, but you can, as I said, convert them in various ways, which we'll talk about later. But anyway, one character. A char can only hold one character. A string can hold a collection of characters. We'll talk about arrays later. And uh, basically, you see the 35 in there. Const char 35. That means it, there's an array the size of 35 holding all these characters. And, uh, yeah, it's good to know. It's good to have in your mind from uh, uh, already right now. Um, let's see then what we're going to talk about. Well, we needed to know about the char, right? So we'll, we'll take away everything now when you have an idea. And uh, we'll see here. The reason we need to know about char is because we have to, in a way, like, if you want to fill this piece with these lines, you can give it a char and it will fill it. So I'll show you. Uh, let's see here. So we have that. So if we want to write x like that and we want to give it there's a function called set w right the set w is a part of all these ion manip things are a part of the std namespace and the standard like everything that comes with windows right so you don't have to download anything or you all, all everyone has this so there's no problem um, so you do that and you want to give it maybe we want 10 spaces in between let's say 10 and then we got a y here and then we end the line. And then we got the system pause. So run this. We should have 10 spaces in between X and Y. Yes, we do. Now, I didn't end the line there, but you can see what I mean. There's spaces in between. So that's good. Now, what if we want to fill those spaces with, say, lines, right? Dashes. So then there's something called set fill, which will give a character because this takes a character in here, okay? If you hold over here, you can see that it wants a char, see? And we give it a character, the dash. 
we'll do that. And then there should be 10 dashes in between. One, two, three, four. You can count them if you want. But we got the dashes there. So in this way, you can kind of like, you can kind of do some mathematical formulas and make sure there's always the same distance between things and stuff like that. So it's really good to know. And uh, the char as well is good to know about. There are a few other types we'll talk about soon, but uh, I think this is it for this one. So thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.